हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वन मोर टाइम योर साइंस टीचर इज हियर विथ चैप्टर नंबर टू अडप्टेशंस फॉर सर्वाइवल इन प्लांट्स यू कैन सी योर बुक पिक्चर ऑल्सो हियर चैप्टर नंबर अडप्टेशन फॉर सर्वाइवल इन प्लांट्स सो स्टूडेंट्स I know that you have understood in previous chapter about plant and its part. Now we will see the adaptation for survival in plants. How plants do survive? Have you ever wondered why leaves in a cactus plants are reduced to spines? Why? Why plants growing in hilly areas are tall, and almost of them have needle shaped? why needle shaped leaves they have why do some plants float on water while others are submerged in it this type of questions usually come in your mind when you see different type of plants plants have developed different features in order to survive in different places the special features that allow an organism to live in a particular area are known as adaptation and that is our topic first point that is adaptation so meaning of adaptation is that the special features that allow an organism to live in a particular area are known as adaptation means that plant is able to live on that area or not for example if cactus will grow in water then it will not be grown there if it will grow any plant which is having water capacity and that means which uh, need water and that we will grow in desert area so it will not be grown there so all different plants having different type of capacity to live in a different different area for example cactus plant is adapted to live in deserts that is why its leaves are reduced to spines in this chapter we will discuss about different adaptations in plants habitat of plants after adaptation we'll see that habitat the region where a living things lives or grows naturally is called its habitat means that place is suitable for living them plants differ greatly in habitats and can be divided into two types on the basis of on the basis that is terrestrial plant and aquatic plant so student here you can see habitats of plant that is terrestrial plants and this is terrestrial plant and this is aquatic plant plants that grow on land first we'll see here plants that grow on land are known as terrestrial plant for example mango tree and peepal tree are terrestrial plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants for example water hyacinth lotus hydrilla are aquatic plants so adaptation in plants a plant adapts itself according to the climatic condition of its habitat the temperature of the place amount of rainfall and sunshine received and water availability are some of the factors which influence the adaptation developed by plant climatic climatic condition is also very important climate should be suitable environment should be suitable temperature should be suitable for living that plants first we'll see about the terrestrial plants that plants which live on land these are further divided in some groups they are having further types they are hilly marshy and coastal plants adapted to grow in plain first we will see which type of plants are growing in plain in plain the climate is warm to hot in summer and cold in winter the trees growing here have many branches these trees shed their leaves in autumn and bear new leaves in spring example mango neem peepal shisham etc grow in plain 
this type of plants grow in the plain area it is a kind of terrestrial plant it is a picture of neem tree now next we'll see plant adapted to grow in desert this you know student this is a picture of cactus plant have you seen in ratlam one cactus garden is there i hope means you have seen that maybe you have seen that plants like cactus date palm prickly pears grow in desert as we know that water is scarce in desert so they plants these are adapt to survive with least amount of water means if water is not in sufficient amount then also they can survive means they are habitual for that habitat and for that particular adaptation the stem is green and perform the uh, method process of photosynthesis and also store food and water for the plant such plants have long root system that go deep into ground to absorb water they have long root system next we will see this is the plant of you can see which plant it is fir tree plants that grow on hill like fir pine and cedar grow in hilly area and they climate in such places is cold and snowfall is frequent these trees are tall straight and conical to allow slide down snow slide easily means snow which, which snow will come on that they can easily go down their leaves are waxy and needle like so they lose minimum amount of water and shed snow without difficulty so we have seen here neem tree terrestrial cactus plant desert fir tree that is hilly plant now we will see marshy places adaptation to grow in marshy places that is mangrove tree mangrove tree is the most common example of plant growing in marshy area this area where soil is clay and very sticky and water they contain high water and their roots in such area growing do not get sufficient air these plants develop and give breathing root that help them to breathe means this plants having developed and give out breathing root so this is a marshy places next we will see this is a picture of coconut tree you all know about this picture of coconut plants adapted to grow in coastal area coastal area have hot and wet climate trees growing in this area are adapted to grow in the presence of salty water they have plenty of leaves and do not shed their leaves throughout the year plants like coconut teak and rubber grow well here so students we have seen in this topic about terrestrial plants in next topic we will see about aquatic plant till that you have to read this chapter you have to learn about these all the types of plants with their example thank you